Just 45 minutes with the ferry from Cancun lays Isla Mujeres, one of four islands in Quintana Roo. We spent four days here and in this video we're going to share the things you shouldn't miss when you come to visit. On Isla Mujeres you will see scooters, golf carts and taxis more than anything else. Especially the golf carts are a popular choice to get around. But with $50 a day, they're not really cheap. For our upcoming trip through the Riviera Maya, and with $32 a day, the cheapest option turned out to be a rental car that we picked up at Cancun Airport. From there we drove to Punta Sam, went onto the car ferry, and arrived on the island that is often listed as one of the most beautiful places to visit in Mexico. It didn't take us long to figure out why. Welcome to a new video. And welcome to Isla, Isla Mujeres. Mujeres! It's so bright, I cannot see anything. I'm blinded by the white sand because it's the whitest sand I've ever seen. It looks amazing. The water looks amazing. There's no seaweed. Apparently there's never seaweed on this part of the world. <laughs> oh, I love it. And it's true. While Tulum looked like this and Playa del Carmen like this, the beach on Isla Mujeres was perfectly clear. The great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes. The day has begun. You spin around, you spin around. Good. Yeah? Yeah. This is the best water you've ever seen? Oh, I've seen amazing water. I don't know. One of them. And warm. Like you don't feel cold at all. So we're here at Playa Norte. This is the biggest and I think the best beach on Isla Mujeres. Apparently it's one of the best beaches in the entire world. So that gotta mean something. It looks amazing! It looks amazing! <laughs> <laughs> the sun is super white. The water is blue, as blue as it could be. Yeah. And there's not that many people, at least right now. Right now it's 9 a.m. We wanted to get here at 8 a.m. But sadly that didn't happen because of Ah, no, because of Yannick. It took 15 minutes in the bathroom. Just you know. <laughs> we also wanted to wake up for the sunrise today, but that would have meant we would have woken up. Waken? Woken? Woken. We Woken. had to wake up <laughs> at 5.30. That clearly didn't happen, but tomorrow. Tomorrow <laughs> we're gonna do it. see with the people behind me the water is not deep at all which is very nice it looks like they're walking on water Jesus show uh. us your body babe Yannick is as white as the sand yeah I was laying on the sand and Joss was like Yannick where are you <laughs> <laughs> okay guys I don't even know if you can see me I hope you can but as you can see the water is not even that deep and I'm super far away from the shore Look at that. I don't even know where Yannick is. I have no idea. But yeah, this is probably one of my favorite beaches in Mexico. It's super nice. Yay. And there's no seaweed. It's so clear. It's like a pool. I just peed. Yannick! <laughs> He's joking, by the way. I'm joking. Right behind Playa Norte, you'll find Isla Mujeres downtown area. On the way, you can find a bunch of iguanas. And a lot of trash which we found in all parts of the island, and it was pretty sad to see. We even found an entire mattress thrown out. We found the letters. Babe. What? Should we buy an apartment there? Mm, we need more views. <laughs> yeah. Also check out our second channel, Yannick and Joss Vlogs. Oh, we're trying to daily vlog there. Yeah. This is the Plaza Central, the main square of Isla Mujeres. As you can see, there's no one. 
This plaza is basically the beginning of the center. From here all the way to the Playa Norte, that's the center and that's what we're gonna look at now. If there's one advice we can give you about the center, don't go in the middle of the day. Our plan was to show you this awesome street here in the center, but it's so hot that we decided to go to a restaurant instead. We're gonna eat something and then we'll keep going. This area of Isla Mujeres is full of restaurants. If you go, make sure to bring cash with you because most places don't accept cards. Guys, it's incredible how hot it is right now. We're in April and it's super hot. And I think I just wanna lay down in a bathtub full of ice. <laughs> we found the best time to explore the center was at night. That's when it really comes to life and you can have dinner, go souvenir shopping or just enjoy the atmosphere. No matter what they call it. But let's get back to something you can do during the day because we found something pretty cool. Do you want to tell them? Yes, I want to tell you. So we saw online that there's this shelter for dogs and you can come here in the morning. I think they finish at 4 p.m. You can come and you can help them. You can walk dogs. Play with puppies, apparently. And, and apparently a lot of um, tourists that come fall in love with the dogs and then they take them to their houses, like in Canada they, they, or the US. They adopt them. Yes. We got a dog. But he wants to go back. <laughs> he doesn't want to. <laughs> he doesn't want to go. Okay, so Ron didn't want to go for a walk. <laughs> she said there is actually a lot of people coming okay. to volunteer earlier, and we can pretty late, and that they already walked a lot, and they are kind of tired. <laughs> Great. That's what she thinks it is. So she says maybe we can come, we can either go there and play with them if we want to, or we can come tomorrow earlier. So maybe we come tomorrow? Yeah. The next day we went back right after they opened in the morning, and this time it worked out better. Plus, we got to meet some puppies. We made a whole video about this experience on our vlogging channel, so if you're interested, check out the link in the description. We're back in the center and now we're gonna get ice cream. I got chocolate ice cream. Sadly, they didn't have what I wanted, which is Straziatella. Um, but chocolate tastes good too. Now we're going to the beach. Let's go. Playa Norte is not only the best beach on Isla Mujeres, but also the best spot to watch the sunset. That's what we ended up doing every single day. Back in Playa Norte, there's way more people but still not too crowded. And here you can watch a beautiful sunset. I can barely open my eyes, that's why I'm gonna put my sunglasses on even though you don't like it. Also, Johnny got a sunburn. He's Nick. A little bit, not a much. Show us. I was really careful today. When I got out of the water, right away, I put my swim shirt on that I bought the last time I got a sunburn. But sadly, my neck was still out to the sun, so... I'm out. And how was it? Very nice. Check this out. This is the sand from Isla Mujeres. And this is the sand in Spain, in Costa Brava. How much bigger it is? Cool, huh? Just wanted to show you that. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Pretty cool. Watching the sunset at Playa Norte was one of our favorite things. But there was one thing that was even better. This is something you should definitely do when you come to Isla Mujeres. A new place, a new home. 
for a while. Let me feel alive. Good morning, everybody. Morning, mine, mine. We've made it to Punta Sur, the most southern point of Isla Mujeres. And here we're gonna watch the sunrise. This is also the most eastern point in Mexico, so we are the first people in entire Mexico to watch the sunrise. We just paid entrance to Punta Sur, which is 30 pesos per person or two dollars. So it's actually cheaper to pay it in pesos. As you can see, there's a huge cloud. I'm not sure if we're gonna see the sunrise, but it's beautiful either way. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky, I found my way, I found my way. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day, cause I found my way, I found my way. Looks like we were not the first ones. I know I'll be okay, cause I found my way. Cause I found my way. It's super windy, but I love it. I feel energized. I could do some yoga here. We can barely see anything though. Do we do this every morning now? Yes! I woke up early this morning. I didn't struggle that much. I found my way. I found my way. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day. Cause I found my way. I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I found my way. When we want to wake up for sunrise, it seems so difficult, such a hassle, and we don't want to do it. But then finally, when we do it, it's like the best morning ever. My motto was, don't miss any sunrise when you're at the beach. I miss basically all of them. But not today. Today we're here, and it's beautiful. This place is amazing. The nature is amazing. The sunrise, we kind of missed it because we took photos. <laughs> How do you like it? I love it! Woo! You have to come here. It's beautiful. I found my way. I found my way. I was in the dark, against it all. I made it through the day. Cause I found my way. I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I found my way. Are we coming back tomorrow? Yes, every day. You? The other goddess. Ah, tell him. Well, I don't know the name. Oh my gosh. Since we entered this place, we found already two different statues of the goddess Ixchel. I hope I'm saying it correctly. It's a Mayan goddess of the moon, of love, of gestation, of medicine, and of textile arts. So the Mayans would come and bring a bunch of different statues of a woman into the island to honor the goddess. And then when the Spanish people arrived, they saw all of the statues and they decided, oh, so this is going to be Isla Mujeres, Jauanilsen, Woman Island. And that's why it's called Woman Island. Aha, uh -huh, interesting. I feel like I don't want to leave yet. And I think this is probably my favorite place on the island. Yeah, mine too, until now. Because there are not that many people. <laughs> We're here by ourselves. You can see Cancun from here, which is awesome. You know why? Because the sun is not that high, it's not too hot, and that's why you can stay here chilling. Yeah. So here in Punta Sua, there are some nice houses, some villas. Yeah, some houses are very nice, I'm gonna say. Look at that one. Wow, there's a lot of construction here. So this is actually the area where all the rich people live, because uh, where our Airbnb is, it looks completely different. Yeah, social inequality. Social inequality, yeah. And there's a lot of trash where we live. So... The time has come. Our time in Isla Mujeres is it's over. Summer. We sadly couldn't go on any snorkeling tour. But what we wanted to tell you is there are so many snorkeling tours and even whale watching tours, right? Yeah, whale watching tours only during certain months of the year. So look that up on Google. 
Yes, now we just wanted to show you our place where we're staying. There are a lot of hotels on this island. Most of them are in Playa Norte. We decided to stay in an Airbnb because we love the option to have a kitchen. Yes, and it's also cheaper. Yes. Then we have a couch. Oh, this leads to a terrace. It's huge and all of this was ours. But we never used it. No, because Isla Mujer is so beautiful. We were outside the whole time. Are you ready for our room? Yes. Wow. So this bed was huge. That was great. And it's very comfy too. The bathroom is normal. <laughs> it's good that we're actually leaving today because it's raining and the weather is crappy. And Griffin's cool. Yeah. We woke up for the sunrise today again. We went to Punta Sua and it was a failure. What's that? It's raining. <laughs> Great. In case you didn't know. If you come to Punta Sur, do it on a day when it's not raining. Yes. Joss is happy though. I'm super tired today. I don't know why I had a very hard time waking up. And now I'm ready to go back and sleep some more. Let's go back to bed. Now we have to leave because the ferry is leaving soon. Yes, we have to get back to the ferry because we're going to... Merida! Merida! Finally! I'm if so you want to watch that video, subscribe to our channel because we're going to post it next. We'll see you next week. Adios muchachas. Cheers. <laughs>